Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, also known as Seven Plaza here and on Instagram. Today is day 52 of the 100 day project and I have decided to make this cute little shadow box. I have showed you this a couple of weeks ago and asked you if you want to see a tutorial on this or you know how I made this and I thought why not? So let's get started. Let me show you what you, what you need for this project. This is very specific. I hope you have one of these. I get these from Action. They are most of the time filled with chipboard letters or buttons or butterflies or all sorts of beads or something like ephemera that you could use um, in your crafting. This one is a little bit bigger as you can see and it's not black but like neutral color but that's okay because it basically is the same so you're gonna need one of these uh, hopefully you have one and uh, then um for the background i have used some beautiful antique paper so i took out some antique papers <clears throat> of course scissors glue then um you need like a focal point for this one i have used uh, stamps from our lovely queen Juliana um, so I took out my stamp book and I thought well let's use some other stamps like butterflies or such and you could use butterflies the problem is they all need to be the same size and they all you need to have nine different ones I have been searching and searching so I came back to the stamps again and I was looking through my stamps uh, these I've already used, so I'm not going to use these. Uh, but then you need to have nine the same but different colors. Well, that's what I want to use. You could use, of course, completely different things. Um, and I was looking around, which one was I going to do? And then I came to this page. And these are like all Dutch, very prominent, important figures from hundreds and hundreds of years ago i recognize some of them but it doesn't really matter how what the names are of these men that did some wonderful things in the past um so i took out nine in different colors and we are going to use these and then uh but i don't know if you have these i have this die cut this one from my uncle Ali. I love it. Recommend it because it does some wonderful things. It makes some small frames. I also um, cut these with uh, like the silver cardstock. That's very nice. It makes all these tiny little frames that I've used on here. And also some uh, vintage gummed labels. Very small ones. I have all sorts of sizes and I've used these, I believe. Maybe I could use a size bigger because this box is a little bit bigger. Well, we'll figure it out. Some of these labels and uh, some twine. Well, not twine. This is like cotton yarn. Yeah, don't use twine. That is way too heavy. So, um, glue, scissors, you know the usual let's get started first i want to make the backgrounds and i'm going to use the old book pages for that for this one i um, wanted to sort of show some numbers because you know me i love numbers so these have some numbers on them and also over here it has some small numbers so i'm gonna use a mixture of these um i have measured this is one and a half inch by one and a half inch so i need nine pieces of one and a half by one and a half i do not want to make it very difficult on myself so i'm probably gonna cut them a little smaller than one and a half so it will fit in better so here we go Let's first do this. Lots of numbers on here. I want to cut off the blank bit first. Because you know, I do not like the blank bits. I love it if you want to do some stamping. Um, let's use a knife. 
be very careful if you use antique book pages because they are very delicate and you might ruin them. I could use these to do some stamping on. That will look very, very nice. So I'm going to go one and a half inch all the way from top to bottom. I could use my chomper. Can we use it? Do I dare? Do I dare? I think I do. Does it fit? No. See, I needed to have the big one, but it didn't have the big one. So I bought the smaller one. That's quite all right. I have a very big one, a large one, like a huge. Will it fit now? Maybe. Please, let's. Hopefully this won't completely destroy my papers. Okay, so I want one and a half inch, but I want it a little bit smaller. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Well, it didn't destroy my paper, so that is a good thing. Yeah, let's just quickly check. Oh yeah, that fits perfectly. I want to take off this bit on the top. Hello, oh, it will stay. My, my other jumper, you need to hold uh, this bit, otherwise you will lose fingers. <laughs> and we do not want to lose fingers. These are dangerous things. Crocodiles who eat your fingers and then jumpers who completely eat your fingers. Let's see what we can do. One and a half inch. Little bit less. Oh, then this will not be on top. I want this on top. Hopefully you can see past my big jumper thingy. I want this, um, this number to be on the top of the small little square that we're making. And now this will have even two numbers. Here's one. Let's quickly check. Will that work? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Cutting off a bit on the top of here, this one. Because I want the numbers to show. Trying to get a hang of this machine. <laughs> and there we go. Here's another one. I think I'm going to use some different papers as well. I do enjoy this uh, machine. <laughs> there you go. Some other paper that you might use. Oh, there are some very interesting sort of text on this bit. the numbers at the top yes first we go one and a half this way get the jumper up oh yes i love this machine i do not i know exactly how it works no you don't apparently you don't i'm not used to it all the way up again there you go one over here this also has some numbers they don't all need to have numbers of course i just like that let's just have some scripty text Almost there, guys. Bear with me. I 
with these i did not stock it down all the way because i thought well i like it like this but maybe sometimes i want to have something different in here so i just i stock all the pieces down to the well to the background but the backgrounds are not attached to the box so i could might eventually put something else in the box how big is this that is way too small let's have another piece with numbers and also this is a nice way to use my antique paper two more one and a half over here and again all the way up please thank you margaret and one and a half oh thank you jumpy thingy oh and we have some nice little pieces left normally i would throw these out but antique paper never throw that out there you go shall we ink it this is too big see i have tweezers right yes i do i have tweezers finally going to use them can we use those well not not that way but it is too big where is it too big that way let's have some scissors i think that is because the box is not completely straight everywhere no. This is cool. Where are my stamps? My stamps are here. I have all of these colors. And I want to organize them sort of color coordinated because that is what I do. Like a brown and then reddish orangey one. There you go, and then blue, teal, and green, yeah, and then gray, purpley bits, shall we have it like so, let's, let's just have it like so, okay, what I did, I did not um, glue the stamp directly to the background, I had some foam underneath, because that gives it a little bit more of a dimension, So that's what I'll be using. A little bit of foam. Uh, before I do that, I guess I want to position some of these frames. Oh, look how lovely that looks. Yes. Shall I zoom you in a little bit? Yep. Using the frame. Like so. Thank you for all you ladies who told me where to find the art glitter glue in the Netherlands. And uh, especially because one of the few stores, shops that sell these is like uh, a five minute drive from my home. So. So that is great. Let's have this one over here and then do this dapper gentleman. Look at the mustache. Almost all of them have mustaches. Um, we can also do it at the bottom. That's how much this costs. Yes. Let's do that. I actually started a completely different video this morning. One that I have been working on all night last night, like until very late. It's a very complicated uh, project um, and it's very frustrating because I have to uh, convert all the um, centimeters into inches and I don't have the big scoreboard and it was a whole thing and I was like, I'm not going to do this yet. <laughs> so you'll have to wait for that one, guys. Let me show you later on 
uh, what project I am talking about. It's a foldy flippy thingy, of course. Yeah. Because we like foldy flippy thingies. Mm. Let's do them a bit different, all of them. What I used for these um, small frame thingies, I just um, took some craft cardstock and then stamped random things all over it and then um, punched them out. So they look a little bit interesting. have some more. I have some bigger ones as well. Are these too big? Will this fit? Mm, I don't think so. These are too tall. Let's check real quick. It could actually work. Could actually work. Yeah, I'll use it. Then I'll use it like so. There we go. If you do not like fiddly things, <laughs> this is not your project. Let's have a quick look how it will look inside of the box. Yeah, that's nice. This one will be in the middle. Hopefully it will fit. This one goes over here. And I have this gentleman in green. I have no clue who this is. But that is all right. This is not a history quiz, so. I'm good with that. Oops, let it dry first, Margaret. Yep. I could name some names, but they're probably all different people. Um, oh, that fits, fits perfectly atop his head. There we go. like a picture frame. I also have these ovals, uh, but these are all square, so I do not plan to use any ovals. On this side. I took out my tweezers to do this, and now I'm still using my big old fingers. Oh well, oh well. I just want to see, um, this one goes here. I do want to alter these a little bit. This one goes here, this one goes here, if it's not stuck down. Yep. You go here. And what will we use for this gentleman? With an enormous wig on his head. Um, no, that's the same as over there. It's the same as over here. Can we frame his big old head? Of course we can. And then have it a little bit... Yeah. Not straight in the middle. Yay. 
There you go, gentlemen. Well done. Let's have it dry for a little bit. They've dried now. Um, what I made for these are some like scrolls or something. I thought it looked nice. Um, it's also a little bit, a little bit fiddly. So I made some already, but let me show you how I make one. I just take a piece of paper, small piece that is uh, no bigger than the box, of course. And then you could have like a small pin or something. I'm using my awl. I just want to roll it around my awl. This helps you to roll it up. You just need a little bit and then you can take over completely. Just roll it up. You don't have to have it a thicker one. You can have a smaller one. I want the 4492 to be up, up front, of course. I'm going to cut a little bit off. Then you take some glue. Let's roll it all around. Yeah. You take some glue and just glue the edge. There's probably a better way to do this, but this is the way I do it. You can also use like um, a wooden skewer that you use for making satay. That's uh, <laughs> very Dutch. <laughs> or a toothpick or something like that. And you just let it try and there you have a scroll so i made several ones and then uh, again in different heights because i want to um put some of them together like these and then two together and then one here one there and then i use my twine to bind them Let's have this one and this one together. Yeah. I want to have a little bit more of a difference in width with these. Cutting it down a tiny bit. Was it, no, it was this one. No, it was this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Still a bit big. Just cutting it down. And then before I um bind them i glue them together just a smidge of glue art glitter glue would have been fantastic please stay let's do the these three glue these together I was thinking um, I watched Tina Chavi Dabiduda and she doesn't do mini or fiddly things she'd be having a nightmare by now if she wanted to do this she really wouldn't love it at all <laughs> I don't mind it but you know, I'm on camera now, so that's a completely different experience, I can tell you that. I'm concentrating. That doesn't mean glue, you don't have to, you have to stay inside. Come out, yes. this stays on here let's just take one scroll and then put a bit of a do i did i use bows yes of course i used bows another day another bow fiddly stuff There you go. Most of the time I start out with a big bow, 
and make it smaller and smaller. And then cut off my threads. See? That will look nice. So I'm going to tie a bow around this one and this one off camera and then these two because you do not want to see me fiddle all the time. Here are the scrolls. There's three together with a string and then here's one, two over here, one over here. It looks really nice. The box is a little bit bigger of course than this one so we could add more stuff. So we're gonna add more stuff. Um, and I was thinking I have these small gummed labels this size um, and I want to add them um, on this one I added them atop of the box but in this one I'm gonna add them inside so what I want to do is back them with something because otherwise they'll be very very delicate and fiddly and I'm backing them with some of the insides of the frames. Why don't we? See, like so. You could lick them. I'm not gonna lick them because you have no idea, no idea how many hands have held these tickets, gummed label thingies. So no, I prefer to use glue. Then, if you have really good penmanship or are really into calligraphy, you could, of course, um, uh, put a number on it or draw a word or do something with it. I cannot write very nicely. <laughs> I have very bad penmanship. So, and I also took out my stamps. My stamps are way too big for it. But I have this. These are... Rob ons these are vintage. I bought these at Sandra from Old Made Awesome. And um, I want to rub some of these on here. Just using, well, in this case, a pencil, rubbing over the number. That worked. So have another one. Let's have a two. Go away. And a two. There you go. One more. Oh, let's have a four. Eight to four. See? Very interesting. Uh, also did some uh, off camera as well. This one and this one. And this is already blue, so do not put the blue against here. We could have one here. Well, we should have one here because this not, doesn't have a scroll. So we can have one over here as well. Yeah. Uh, what I also have are more of these frames and you know, more numbers. So I was thinking, why not put a number here in a frame? Yeah, let's just do that. I switched glue, just normal glue, because my fabric glue was empty. And instead of refilling it, I chose to just get another glue. Cutting it out. There we go. Putting this one here. Yes, so this one goes here. Oops. Stay, Mr. Old Man. This one goes here. One here. We need something here. Another one of those numbers. Maybe we should put it at top of something. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, glue. 
Yeah, I need tweezers. I really need tweezers. Well, I needed them because they're pink and lovely. And this would be like the perfect project to use them. But I just, I cannot, I cannot work with that. Then we still need something here. Um, I also used like this sort of really small tag label thingy. And yeah, I have these. These are Tracy Fox. Small letters. And numbers. Let's stop doing the numbers. Let's just do a letter. Yeah. Let's have a letter here. We have more letters. Probably do an E. Mm -hmm. Can we do one here? Yeah. More over here. Probably can. And do we have another letter? Or are these all numbers? Well, we have an A. That's an A, it gets a B. No, let's do a number. Well, we're going to do seven, of course. Seven over here. I'm going to do the B over here. Because this does not have numbers yet. And we're going to do a four at top here. We're going to do a number. We need a number here. Yes. Number two. Number five. And an A. Yes. Enough? Enough. Now. What I want to do is stick it all together. <laughs> Good. I want to glue the nine first on the stamp. Is this a nine? It's, I'm, I'm confused. I'm going to do an eight. Could be a nine or a six. Looked weird. On here, and then gluing this here, tweezers, no, and the five that was at the bottom, right? Please stick, thank you, thank you for sticking. I'm gonna glue this all together because boring and um, then we're gonna use this tape be right back good everything is glued on I took um, I took them out and then I glued the pieces on they're dry and then I put some foam on the back just on the stamp side just putting some foam on and then you can glue it down well, stick it down. You don't need glue anymore, especially not with this tape, because this tape is very sticky. And there you go. Just taking the scrolls out first. I already put some backing on here. Um, some foam on here, just taking off the backing. I know the scrolls are going to be here, so I positioned it a little bit more to the right. And there you go. Just gentlemen. If you're not from the Netherlands, you're like, why do you not know your precedents? These were not precedents. These were like um, explorers and... Um, Maybe paint, no, probably all explorers and such. Like Columbus, but then not. And generals. All sorts of, those sorts of gentlemen. So I do not know the names. I know the names of my queens and my kings. 
but not of all the ministers and such. See, just put a piece of the foam on. Take off the backing. Oops. Put it in. I already put these in. There you go. This is, I think, three millimeters or now uh, two millimeters. It's very heavy foam. If you don't have the tape, you have the small dots. You could also do the small dots or squares. Do not do it upside down, Mark. That that'd be stupid. There you go. Scrolls. also didn't um, glue down the scrolls I could do that that would probably be smart uh, but I didn't do that with these ones and it works fine but you could glue it down scroll from here can't remember probably was yeah it was from here and this is stuck down so good um i want to have something here and have something here let's have a quick look i'm thinking tracy labels because we already use these let's have some tracy labels i have the new ones the random mixed ones and let's just have then the brown ones because I do not want to add more color to this. Oh, yes, yes. I could do this one. I prefer to have it a little bit bigger. Mm, and maybe something that says something. Is this too big? Yeah, that, this is too big. Bigger than this, smaller than that one. 1892. Yes. Yes. So, good. Um, inking them a tiny bit. Yep. Just a little bit. And I think I also want to back them with something. Yeah. I'm going to put them on cardstock. Um, just some regular old glue stick. And then we're nearly finished. I have no idea how long this video is. As usual, I'm leaving a little bit of a border on all sides because I really like that effect. Inking it again. Uh, drippy. Yes. Let's take our drippy. Hopefully drippy works. Because sometimes it doesn't. And then I need to recharge it. Even though I hardly ever use it. It just... The battery just dies on me. But no, it's red. It's a green now. So Drippy is still in action. Uh, yes, babe. Yes, Daisy. Mama's almost finished and then we can get some treats. I know, lovey. I love you too. <laughs> if you haven't seen my videos before, I have two cats. They're my babies. <laughs> I love them to pieces. 
let's see i think i'm going to put the glue here i might regret that later but for now i think that is the best thing to do daisy agrees and also from here yep thank you for your service rippy yes we're finished this is the end result this was the one that i made earlier the small one in black with the postage stamp and this is the bigger one again with the postage stamp i'm well minded because i love postage stamp let me give you some sort of a close-up look how cute that is and it has some dimension to it so that is really nice. So ladies, before I go, let me say you thank you for, <laughs> for watching my videos. And um, show you the prototype of the project I was working on last night. It is absolutely wonderful. It's the flippy flippy thingy. You open it up like so. And you have a pocket here. And when you open this up, you have a pocket here. You have a pocket here. And this, this flips open. Pocket here, this flips open, pocket here, pocket here, this flips open, here, pocket, there, pocket, you know, a gazillion pockets. Um, but it is a long project, which means I do not want a, a, a series to, to make a series on it. And it's made out of an A3 sheet, which, which is very big. I do have some other options than using an a3 sheet but let me know if you want to see that project and um but it's going to be a boring one because lots of measuring and scoring but you never know maybe you might like it thank you for watching guys and i'll see you again tomorrow bye bye